thousands and thousands of fans with 100,000 expected to make their way to the Selfridge Open House over the next two days for the air show. Local 4 News Today continues right now. And Nick, I mean, okay, you had a helicopter and now you got this big jet behind you. Where are you at, buddy? All right, so this is an A-10 right next to me. Over there is a Chinook. And take a look at this KC-135, this giant refueling tank. There's so much to see and do here at Southridge. You know, what's really interesting, too, and Priya, we've been talking a lot about this, is there's so, so much happens behind the scenes that people don't really get to see, including the maintenance teams who have to take care of these giant planes when they land and before they take off. Once a plane lands, there is an entire team ready and waiting. The aircraft maintenance squadron with operability and safety in mind. We're going to gas it. We're going to do the through flight inspection to make sure that, you know, after the flight from Baltimore to here, you know, nothing came loose, you know, inadvertently went down the, the aircraft engine or anything like that. I'll make sure that the, the aircraft's safe to go back airborne. Lieutenant Colonel Jamie Gilkerson is the commander of this squadron and says the teams work with efficiency. Everyone knows their task. Almost immediately, I saw your crew like spiders just jump all over this plane. What were they doing and looking at? Uh, so the crew chief here, the one with the wands wanding it in, you know, he was ensuring that the jet is safe. He parks it. As soon as he, you know, gives them the, you know, the all clear to chalk it, uh, they will chalk the nose tire. They jump in there. They're making sure that there's no brakes or tears or anything in the speed brakes that once they shut it down, the speed brakes close so you can't see them anymore. So they're just doing their, you know, initial inspections and, um, parts that they, they won't necessarily open back up to inspect during the through flight. Another item on the checklist, downloading flight data. The jet knows when it goes over temp or if it over torques or anything else like that so that we might not necessarily get through a debrief. And now they're just downloading that data so we have it on file, you know, and we will read it, make sure that there's no abnormalities. This fighter jet is from the Baltimore Guard on loan while a Michigan A-10 is down for routine maintenance. This one obviously is going to stay for a while, but if it needed to go right away, how fast could this land, have your team prep it and get it back in the air if you had to? So that's a great question. Um, we have a standard turn time that we do that we give to operations. However, you know, in an emergency, we could turn the aircraft in, you know, up to like two hours, get it ready to go. And uh, depending the mission, what we have to upload or download, two hours is kind of standard. So you're saying when we see in the movies that the call comes in and they run out and take off right away, that doesn't happen? It can. <laughs> it can. But keep in mind, this maintenance does not always happen under the comfort of a sunshade. We've done it on the roads here in Michigan. We've done it, you know, um, in the desert. There's uh, dry salt lake beds that we can land in. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you. And, you know, I, I, I don't say this with any disrespect, but doing it under a beautiful sunshade with all your tools at your disposable, your disposal is one thing. Doing it in the middle of a war zone has got to be a totally different operation. Yeah. Well, you know, they, it does bring more risk, but, you know, I guess when you are doing it somewhere else, it, it, you're just still doing your job. Would you consider what your teams do kind of the unsung heroes? Because, you know, you, you watch like Top Gun and Maverick gets all the glory, right? All right. We don't usually see the mechanics on the big screen. It's just like this, this interview, right? Like as soon as we see the jet parked and everything else, and it cuts to like everything, everything else. But we're not seeing that, you know, 50 or 60 man hours that it takes to create the one flying hour of that aircraft going up. Yeah, so again, it's unbelievable the hundreds, if not thousands of people that work here behind the scenes. And one question I asked him is, you know, as he said, who gets all the glory? Well, yeah, you know, we, we understand that. But he also talked about, you know, the accountants, the financial people, teams of people that make all this happen. Here is the U.S. Army Chinook we're standing right in front of. Take a look inside. This is one of the things you can actually do here at the air show. Just walk on in, take it down. Oh, I can even stand up in this guy. Priya, I'm taking this one home.